Right, for question 11, you're given a student solution to a problem and there are some mistakes in that solution. You need to identify what those mistakes are and what they should really be and then use those corrections to find the exact solution to the equation. So reading through the lines then, the very top line we're given a standard expression and when they're in this, and quite rightly as the students expect it's going to form into some kind of quadratic. However, the minute we go from the question line to the first actual line of solution, we encounter the first problem. And that's with the first addition. Now what the students read is that the original is 2 to the power of 2x plus 4. He's recognised that R, we're going to split this apart. But he's gone, it's a plus, so it must be a plus. But that's not how indices work. So we can state in line, and it's 2 of the solution, 2, 2x plus 4 should be equal to 2 to the 2x times 2 to the 4. If the power is with an addition, then the original one before it was combined must be a multiplication. So if you split it, the multiplication should be there. Not 2 to the 2x plus 2 to the 4. Okay? So that's the first mistake. The second mistake is fine. He said let y equal 2 to the x. That's sensible. Makes it slightly easier to see what's happening and he's formed the quadratic which would be correct however the y squared yes this is the 2 to the 2x 2 to the x is y that's a power of 2 so y squared minus 9 to the times 2 to the x is the minus 9y but he's got plus 2 to the power of 4 he's put plus 8 so in line 4 2 to the power of 4 should be equal to 16, not 8. Okay, so that's a simple one. Now, it doesn't matter which order you put these, just make sure you put both of them. If you do only spot one, though, then just make sure you write that one and have another look and see if you can spot the other. So, with these two corrections in place, then we should be able to solve this problem. So going back, we can start with the top line. So 2 to the 2x plus 4 minus 9 times 2 to the x is equal to 0. So if we correctly split this up into the two parts, we've got 2 to the 2x times 2 to the power of 4 minus 9, 2 to the x is equal to 0. If we use the method that they've got, we can say let y equal 2 to the x, that's fine. And yes, this 2 to the 2x is going to be a y squared, but it's multiplied by this 2 to the 4, which is 16. So I've actually got 16y squared minus 9y is equal to 0. We've got a quadratic. There's no third term, no constant there, so it's actually quite a simple quadratic. To solve it, though, we've got to take out our common factor. And our common factor is y. So we've got y times 16y minus 9 is equal to 0. And therefore, y is equal to 0. 16y minus 9 is also equal to 0. So y is equal to 9 over 16. Now, looking back at the student solution, that should be a little bit of a clue. We've not quite finished because, yes, we have solved for y, but we haven't actually solved for x. And as our original equation is given in terms of x, that is what you should be solving for. So let's replace our y and say, therefore, 2 to the x is equal to 0. And 2 to the x is equal to 19 over 16. Now, to solve this, we have to bring in logarithms. Now, because the exponential is a 2 there, the easiest one is to bring in log to base 2. So we can take log to base 2 of 2x is equal to 0. 
but there's a big ball too. So log to base two over zero. Uh, log to base two over two to the x is equal to log to base two over nineteen over sixteen. Log to base two is zero doesn't actually exist because if you remember your logarithm graphs your natural logarithm forms an asymptote with the y-axis or the x equals zero line so actually this one has no real solutions this one however log 2 to the 2 well we can bring the x to the front as a multiplier and the log 2 to the 2 just goes to 1. So that cancels away, which leaves with x is equal to log to base 2 of 9 over 16. And that is an exact solution to the equation. Now, it's exact, it's in natural logarithm. Do not convert it into decimals. And it is a singular solution because the y equals zero doesn't actually have a real solution to this particular problem. So one real solution.